Are you just itching to learn more about scabs? Pick our brains on the protective mechanism your body creates to keep germs out of your cuts and scrapes. Hey, welcome back to the Mods YouTube channel. My name is Michael. I'm joined by Draven. Draven, today we're going to talk about scabs. Now, I know that when I get a cut, I always put pressure on it, and then a scab eventually forms. How does that scab form? So, in our body are things called platelets. So, platelets are found in our blood, and when we get a cut, platelets go towards that cut, they start clotting, and they form a scab. Awesome. And if, um, if I get a scab, should I ever, you know, peel the scab? No, you shouldn't peel the scab because underneath the scab, a lot of things are happening. Our body is trying to fight off whatever bacteria or germs got in, and also new skin is forming under that scab, so you shouldn't really play with it. And, and the scab also keeps out any foreign bacteria or anything trying to get in, yeah. correct? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. And I know that when I get them, even as a kid, I would itch. Like, they would start to itch, and all I want to do is scratch them. And the worst thing that you could do is not scratch something that you want to scratch, right? So why, why does it itch? So it itch because it's healing. So that's why. Okay, and, but if you do rip it off, you can actually cause a, a scar to form, right? Yeah, you can for, form a scar because new skin is under there and you may rip it off, the new skin that's forming. Awesome, and usually, you know, if I get a really bad cut, I have to go to the hospital, right? And then doctors, nurse, they're the ones that are gonna help me with that cut or scar, correct? Yeah, they will awesome. help you, definitely. So we, um, we're gonna make a scar today, my understanding, and we didn't go to some fancy costume store to buy anything crazy here. Everything we, f we have can be found at home. So what kind of items do you have here that we could find? So we just have simple items, cocoa powder. Okay. We have petroleum jelly with a little bit of red food coloring. And we also have some tissue paper. That's okay. it. So I guess we're gonna make one. So we're gonna pretend I got a cut. Ow, oh, oh, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. And so now we're gonna actually create a scab over the top of this. So what's the first thing we're gonna do so for this? So we're gonna apply some petroleum jelly to his hand. Just okay. a little layer. Just a, okay, awesome, go ahead. We're gonna do that. All right. And then what's and our, then next our next step? And then our next step will so be <laughs> to apply a bit of tissue paper, just a small amount. Make sure you disperse Spread it evenly. Spread it out, okay. All right, so give it that little height that we see in most scabs. And then we're gonna add a bit of, little bit more of petroleum jelly over the top, just so the tissue paper sticks before we add our cocoa powder. Let's see, can you put that in there? Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna add our cocoa powder and that'll be our final step to making our scab. So usually scabs has this brown, reddish color. So we're gonna use cocoa powder for that. And then so we're just going to kind of change all that white into that cocoa powder so that it really gives it that scab, that look. scab look to it. And then I can run up to mom and dad and be like, oh my gosh, look what happened. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't, don't scare your parents, <laughs> don't kids. Don't scare your parents. Yeah. So this just is cover great. it up. So like and during Halloween, scab. I can do something like this and this is going to look fantastic and realistic rather than me spending $20, $30 on one of those kits or something like that, right? Yeah, you can make your own scabs at home with three simple ingredients. Fantastic, I'm gonna keep this on for a while. Usually scabs are going to fall off. Actually, they'll always fall off. Don't peel them as we learned today. Do not peel and them. And don't itch them. All right, till next time, we'll see everybody later. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us for Virtual Camp Discovery. This series is brought to you by Citrix, Mod's official innovation partner.